Yeah, my hands are ashy, so mm -mm, I'm not doing that. mahogany welcome back to my channel today we're going to be doing a chit chat get ready with me i already did my brows and a little bit of foundation off camera and lashes i have on trio lashes so that's why my lashes are already on a little talking i'm gonna do some makeup and you know so that's what we're doing today so I have my whole spread here. I have a mirror over on this side. So you're gonna see me like looking back and forth. And I got and some water. You know, we're gonna balance it out. That's all I drink, y'all. Water and wine. <laughs> That's all I drink. Like I drink juice sometimes though. I it depends on the juice. Like I like strawberry lemonade. I like what other kind of juice I like. Anything with strawberry in it. I like strawberry a lot. And I like peach. Anything with peach, just about I drink it. But I try not to drink too much of it. Hence, you know, we're we're gonna be going on a whole face cleanse. Like, oh my gosh, y'all. And I'm gonna be filming a mask, a face mask video for y'all. So I'm not sure which one is gonna be up first, but y'all, we're about to take this skin thing serious because I have been cutting up and it's showing <laughs> and we can't keep doing that. No, like, and I know it's also like some of the stuff that I've been putting on my face. Well, as far as not taking care of my skin as well, but it's also the things that I've been putting in my body. I haven't been eating right, but my schedule y'all is so crazy. Like I, I work like 12, 13 hour days sometimes. So it is hard for me to get on a diet that is like, you know, good for me and good for my body. But I know I really need to because I'm very, very tired a lot. Like, it's days when I have more spurts of energy than others. But a lot of days, like, I'm like, Whew. well, in the mornings, I'm like, okay, let's get up and go. So in the mornings, I'll get on up after I hit, like, the fifth alarm. <laughs> so brush my teeth, wash my face. Whenever I do that, man, you know, it's pretty much rolling. We rolling, getting ready, put my clothes on and running out the door. So once I start, once I hit the ground and I'm running, that's what it is. But at night, whenever I finally make it home, like I'm falling right in the bed, like take my clothes off, try to get myself situated. And then we're back, we're straight in the bed starting the next day. But I know it's some things that I need. I need to eat better. I need to do because I need to have more energy than that. Either I need to, I know I need to eat better so I can be able to get up earlier and start working on some things earlier in the mornings. Because when I'm at work, sometimes I am able to sneak in and do some stuff throughout the day, but I want to dedicate some time to the side to do things that really need to be done and it really needs my undivided attention. So I know I need to change the way that I'm eating so I'm able to do these things. But yeah, so I'm gonna, we said this a chit chat, get ready with me. So let me start doing a little bit of makeup so we can, you know, do that. But yeah, so my face has been cutting up on me. It's mad at me right now and I don't blame it because I've been acting up. So, yeah, if y'all have any good suggestions as far as, like, face mask tips and stuff, just, you know, let me know. Any kind of moisturizer that y'all use, let me know. Because that's also a struggle for me, too, to find a, moist a good moisturizer because I am oily. I have really, really oily skin, and I'm acne prone. So, I do have to be careful. But I really used to like um the Cetaphil for like oily skin one of my friends she recommended it to me and i loved it like i went to my dermatologist she gave me some kind of cream and she told me face wash and moisturizer so sarah and she told me the good the best ones to use so i got that my face loved it but then other stuff like i started getting rashes and stuff so i was like dang i can't take this no more so i had to stop taking that and then one of my other friends she told me about um 
First Aid Beauty face wash for sensitive skin because as I'm getting older, my skin has been changing. So I started doing that and y'all, my face love it. Like love it. I haven't turned back since. I love that one. But yeah, so. I didn't notice, you know, how a little difficult <laughs> get ready with me can be a little bit because you start to talking and you get all into what you're saying and your face not even done. But anyways, so I'm not really going to break down the makeup and stuff in this video because that's really not what this for. This isn't a makeup tutorial. I just wanted to, you know, talk. But if y'all want a makeup tutorial, just let me know. And we can film a little something. I'm not like a big makeup guru or anything, but I can do my own makeup. But yeah. But yeah, so. I got off work early today. So I was pretty happy about that. Because I was like, oh, I can, you know, do some things and film some videos. So that's what we're doing. So yeah. But So how has the year been going for everybody? Have you guys been knocking down some goals that you've been writing? Or are you still trying to figure out what it is that you want to do? I know a lot of people aren't big on the whole um, New Year resolution and all that. I get it 100%, but I feel like people need to start somewhere. And I'm just not the type of person, I don't, I don't like to talk negative. Like, I don't, I'm not one of those people that if somebody trying to, I'm going to be honest now. I'm very, I am, a, I can be blunt and I am an honest person, but I'm not, I don't like to be negative. I don't like to just rain on somebody parade about anything if it's something that that you want to do like did you if you set a goal for yourself and you fall short everybody falls short of things sometimes but people don't like to speak on that people don't like to speak when they fall short on something they like to speak on whenever it's the winning time or they like to try to judge somebody else when they're doing something when they really should be using that time and energy to worry about themselves and what they're trying to do with their life because let me tell you something no day is promised. Tomorrow is not promised. You don't know what type of situation you're going to be in at the end of the day. So all that energy that some people be using to speak ill on somebody else and what they're trying to do with themselves, you need to be using that energy for your own life, whatever you need, because nobody has it all figured out. Nobody has it all figured out. Everybody trying to, everybody is out here messing up from time to time trying to figure it out like the ne like the next person so please quit please quit with your nose in the air or but you know what i know some people like to talk down and talk ill and talk negative on other people to make themselves feel better so but if that if you are like that get yourself together because that that's not that's not helping you at all talking about the next person so okay and yeah yeah they did it okay so okay and what what you gonna do about it what does that have to do about you how does that change your life especially some people that's not even close to you first of all you and that person that you probably talking about don't even y'all don't have each other phone number yeah if especially if you one of them social media like y'all social media acquaintances y'all not real friends y'all aren't friends anyways if you see each other in person you probably won't even speak to them so quit speaking on their life because you don't even know what what you be talking about half the time a lot of y'all a lot of people don't be knowing that's why i just keep my i don't i don't do that i don't speak on other people because if it's somebody that's not close to me I'm not finna, I'm not talking about you like that because I really don't know what your situation is. I don't know why you, I don't know what your situation is. I don't know why you had to do what for what purpose. So, especially when it comes to talking negatively about somebody else, we're not doing that because I do not know your story. Everybody got a story. Everybody. And it's so easy to judge and sit up and talk about people. 
because it helps you not think about how your own life in a hot mess. A lot of people like to deflect. A lot of people love to deflect. But... Who cares? Who cares? I was listening to this um podcast the other day and it was like it was real real good i love podcasts y'all definitely so yeah i was listening to this podcast the other day and this dude he was talking about how he was in a real bad situation and, and he was like and he got arrested he was in there fighting he was in there like fighting somebody getting into fights like every day because of course because he angry he mad that he in there so so, yeah, so he was, like, getting in the fights every day. And finally, they put him in solitary confinement. And I'm pretty sure, like, y'all know what that is. They put him in the hole. They put him in solitary confinement. And in there, he met this white dude who was in jail, too. And the white dude, he was in solitary confinement. And the dude was like... <laughs> It was so funny because he was like, I guess the, he from Louisiana. He was like, I guess the white dude just got tired of seeing black people. So many black people in one place. So he was like, <laughs> he was like, y'all fighting the wrong fight. He was like, what you talking about? I'm fighting the wrong fight. He was like, because you and y'all are in here and like, what? Y'all are fighting the wrong fight. So he like, well, you in here too. So. What fight you was fighting? Like, why are you in here? The white dude said that he embezzled like eight million. He he embezzled two point eight million dollars from his company, and he had to pay back eight hundred thousand in restitution, but they let him keep the two million. So he was like, "Yeah, like y'all fighting each other." <laughs> When we in, we get jammed up for money, like we, you know, we we get in situations for millions, not fifty thousand, hundred thousand. This man was in there for two point eight million, and then he still get to keep his two. So back to the back back to the premises of what I was talking about. But now the, now the black dude like a lot of good success from stop. But anyways, so. Basically, what I took from that, what I took from that is talking about each other, judging each other about little petty stuff. Like, I'm so not on that. But I've never really been like that anyways. Like, I don't, that ain't really my style. I don't really care about the type of person to sit up and I never like, your business is your business. I'm not finna go from place to place talking about you. It ain't got that. How's that gonna help me? <laughs> what is that gonna do for my life in the next couple of years? Me going around talking about you. That that's just not my style. Whoever do it, you know that's on you. Do your thing, poo. But that's just not me. I I don't judge other people because everybody everybody going through some things. Everybody has been through some things, and they're gonna. If you haven't been through something, you are gonna go through it. You'll go through it. It's going to be different, but you will go through some heartache. Everybody has. Everybody has. So don't, don't worry. Don't worry about that. If if you're not going to help it. Now, if you're going to help that situation, that's one thing. That's one thing if you're going to help them. But if the only reason why you're speaking on it because you, because it helped you not think about what you're going through. Stop. I'll get off topic quick now. <laughs> But yeah, my hands are ashy, so mm -mm, we're not doing that. Yes, so I want everybody that has any kind of goals or any kind of dreams. I want you to really, I just want you to work on them. Like, I really want you to just act on them. I want you to just do it. Do it, man. And I know it's so much easier said than done because every day you wake up, you're going to have an obstacle that you face every day or every other day. Even sometimes the obstacle isn't a physical thing. Because a lot of people think obstacles are physical all the time. But sometimes it can be mentally. Like sometimes you have a mental block. Or mentally you telling yourself that you can't do something. And that's the worst obstacle of it all. Because if it's a physical physical obstacles. Oh we can get over that. But whenever it's in your mind that you can't do something. Or when it's in your mind that 
this is stacked up against you, that's going to be the hardest thing to get over. But well, let me tell you one thing, though. Once you finally master that, I'm telling you, nothing, nothing in the physical can really stop you. As you can see, her and I are just chatting away, but I just wanted to say, don't give up on your goals or your dreams. If you say anything for yourself, push and go to it, go towards it, you will get there. This is how my makeup came out and I filmed this video where I'm talking about my book collection. So be on the lookout for that. And I also wanted to say, stop fighting against each other and fight with each other. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and join the tribe. And until next time, don't forget that you're beautiful.